Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello everyone, Fresh Potato back with another video. And yes, we've finally unlocked the grocer Kerfus, right? The old GK finally unlocked now in my port. This beautiful port, right? I don't who doesn't like the Halloween port, right? This Halloween port is fantastic, but we finally got the GK, and yes, let's set it up. Okay, let's go and set it up, or somewhat set it up. Hey, <laughs> I've been waiting for this ship for a long time. Yes, waiting for this ship a long time. So we're going to go with, of course, secondary battery mod 2 there in uh, the first slot. The second slot, we're going to go with the old Propulsion Mod 2. And uh, let's see the third slot. It's going to be Concealment. Uh, we have a fourth slot here. And that's, we're going to use that for our secondary battery Mod 3. You want to utilize the Kerfers secondaries. And you can... Uh, I haven't tried a sniper build yet, but yes, we're going to go with the, with the secondary build. We're also going to slap on the old 420 millimeter guns, right? When this thing is accurate, these do slap, right? They slap pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. GK, a very, very strong ship, right? A very strong ship when you have it in the right hands and yes like i said 420 millimeter guns uh our secondaries only 8.4 so let's continue with the setup so we can get that and improve that uh better right we can yeah let, let's go with the command let's set up our commander we are going with john luke pickup yeah no we're not <laughs> okay because john luke pickup is useless right John Luke is useless. Why is he there? I did that just for teasing purpose. We're gonna go with old Henry J. Hyde. This is just a guy's guide. Guys, <laughs> a guy's guys. This is just a guy's guys. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so now let's take a uh, take a look at our our specs. Okay. There, let, that's better. Okay, now our secondary armament is going to be at 10.6 or our secondary range. That's better. We we're, we want to be utilizing our secondaries as much as possible. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at that armor and look at that, guys. Look at that. This thing is a tank, right? Maybe one of the most tankiest, if that's a word, battleships in the game. Maybe the most tankiest. Who knows? <laughs> If you angle this thing the right way, like most battleships, you can survive a very long time. GK, even longer. Okay, if when again, if when this ship is in the right hands, it it's very no, annoying to go up against this because it's like you're not causing that much damage on it because everything's bouncing, right? Very, very, very thick battleship, right? <laughs> very thick. So let's continue with. Our setup here, we're going to go with my favorite couch potato flag. And for our camouflage, we're going to go with the old All Destroyer, right? The All Destroyer camouflage, which makes our ship look like it's built out of straight vibranium. <laughs> what is vibranium? Uh, well, hey, if you know, you know, okay? <laughs> and here we go. The GK finally set up for us, and let's uh, let's go ahead and take it for a spin, right? Let's take it for a spin. And here we go. We are on Land of Fire, and we're going to try to set up a flanking position here uh, in our massive GK, right? A ship that shouldn't be selling to any flanks, <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway, right? And here goes the Sheeflin, and we're going to try to line up a good shot on the she Sherry Flynn. I still have problems saying this name after all these years, guys. That ship annoys me. At least the name does. <laughs> we're going to line him up there, and he is going to do a good job at dodging. That is a good job uh, smashing the brakes and throwing me off. <laughs> Not good, but here goes the Michelangelo. There's a lot of Michelangelos out here and boy are they juicy to shoot at because Everyone is broadside in them, right? Because that's how you have that's what you have to do to utilize your guns in the Michelangelo So if you are a battleship main, always keep that in mind You're gonna probably be able to catch those Michelangelos 
broadside most of the time. So we're going to line up a second shot on the sh uh, Sherry Flynn <laughs> up top. And no, a lot of bounces. But hey, our secondaries is now getting involved. That's what we want. We want our secondaries to be going off and be utilized, right? Utilize the secondaries. That way we can cause some minimal damage. <laughs> our secondaries are kind of inaccurate in this ship, but eh, that's most battleships, right? Most battleships and their secondaries. We're going to try to guess a shot here on the Michelangelo. Looks like they're going to maybe turn broadside there, and I am way off. <laughs> way off but hey that's okay again like i said our secondaries is involved here and heckles the, the, the sheeflin playing a very dangerous game coming from around that island uh, kind of broadside there so we're waiting for our long reload here <laughs> i think what is our reload like what 30 seconds maybe a little bit over 30 seconds here and i think that's because we added those 420 millimeter guns which made the uh reload longer i think that's what happened but yeah <laughs> this is the high tier you're gonna get long reloads right but hey we got our first assist ribbon and yes hey guys i've been asking for assist ribbons for a long time so i'm going to take credit <laughs> you guys are like stop it I, hey i'm gonna take credit for wargaming making an assist ribbon because i said it before in a video last year or maybe a year or two ago <laughs> that they should have an assist ribbon right <laughs> and here we go <laughs> assist ribbons and you get a medal also if you get what five assists <laughs> so yes we are the john stockton <laughs> out here throwing assist throwing those dimes <laughs> setting up our teammates for success right <laughs> but you know if you're in a battleship that's gonna be one of the primary metal uh, ribbons you get, assist. Because you know we want to get the chunk damage and allow our teammates to clean it up. So assist ribbon and medals, not a bad thing. Very good thing if you are in a battleship. That means you're doing your job. As we smack the Schroeder there in the Citadel, and yeah, look, we're taking all kinds of damage from all different directions, but our health is still good because, like I said, the GK very very tanky and that schroeder playing a dangerous game can we sneak something in between those rocks yeah uh, we'll take it <laughs> uh yeah we'll take it a little chunk there uh but we should be able to finish him off right here we're gonna line him up a little bit up top and let's see there it is <laughs> we send that schroeder straight to the shadow realm that's the first kill of the game we are at 87,000 damage battling for our side, right? We're fighting for the sea cap, and so far we're looking good. The Schroeder is down, uh, the Shiflin is down. All we need now is this Michelangelo to go away, right? And there goes a big hit there. Like I said, you're gonna catch Michelangelo's broadside most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, and that gave us our second assist ribbon in the game. So I go ahead, I pop my sonar. I don't know if if torps are coming from that Michelangelo. I'm not pretty sure how long the range is on those torps on the Michelangelo because I hardly play the thing, right? I hardly play the thing. <laughs> but here we go. We're going to sail on into the cap. And when you win your side and you're able to sail now back into the game, well, you're going to catch ships broadside most of the time because now they're pushing in into their cap. So... Yeah, broadside conveyor belt incoming, right? <laughs> a conveyor belt of broadsides. And that's what you want to see if you are a battleship main. There goes another Schroeder. There goes another Yamato. What's up with all these Yamatos in the game? <laughs> Is there some kind of event I should know about here? But hey, we're going to line up this Yamato. Again, broadside. And let's see what we can do. We got the St. Louis in the distance there, but we are not afraid of them. As we smack the Yamato, uh, yeah, that's a really good hit. We are at 150,000 damage. Now the secondaries can get involved on, on that Schroeder. And yeah, we're going to use the rare guns here on this Yamato. Let's see, can we get another uh, Citadel hit since he is broadside? No, no, disappointment. 
But let's see, can we get a close quarters expert? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna line up that Yamato again but no hey we got our third assist of the game like I said hey we're just throwing dimes out here helping our teammate clean it up right assist after assist after assist <laughs> but we did get another Citadel ribbon there that brought us to 170,000 damage and the game is pretty close the game is pretty close so we want to play things smart here at the same time we do want to put pressure on them by tanking in but we do have to stay angled properly as we take a we take a big hit from the Yamato there we are showing a little bit too much broadside here this is not a smart play on my part so we need to turn back in we know there's another Yam Yamato that's gonna come from around that island but yeah let's turn back in here we're gonna scrape up against the island we need to get turned in quickly here we go here goes another salvo from the Yamato but we are turned in just enough to bounce most of those right like I said when you can angle this ship the right way boy is it tanky and the survivability is pretty long. There go some torps. Luckily, we scraped up against that island because it slowed us down and allowed us to dodge those torps from the St. Louis, right? So here we go. We're going to push into that this other, other Yamato, and let's see what we, we, we can do. We're telling him, hey, stay right there, just like that. Line up under that cheek, and yes, we landed a Citadel hit. That brought us over 200k. It didn't take long for me to get over 200k in the GK, right? The GK, very, very good ship in my opinion because it is so tanky, all right? It's not accurate, okay? It's just extremely tanky and it allows me to push in like this and land good shots uh, from close range or from mid range, right? So here we go. We want to get this kill on this Yamato. We're going to line them up top. And like I said, <laughs> GK may not be accurate, but hey, very, very tanky. We still end up getting our second kill of the game, sending that Yamato straight to the Shadow Realm. Looks like we kind of burned them down, maybe, right? 216,000 damage. There goes a third Yamato. Like I said, what's up with all these Yamatos, man? <laughs> what is going on here? Yamato after Yamato after Yamato. And here goes some more Torps. Luckily, we popped that Sonar just in time that Yamato took out one of our turrets but we're gonna go ahead and slow it on down allow our secondaries to get involved here on this St. Louis St. Louis throwing the torps out there hoping <laughs> to land something here but no we say not nah, it ain't gonna be us so we're gonna uh step on the gas and get our rear turrets involved here and we got a decent chunk on the St. Louis we also got a confederate medal out of that brought us to 230,000 damage we would like to get some more kills here okay <laughs> we want some more kills okay we don't want too many assists we want the kills right but hey at least we got opportunity to get some ribbons and medals with assist right with some assists we're gonna line them up up top with that one turret no we didn't get them but looks like we got a fire on this Yamato again selling broadside so we're gonna take that one turret and try to line them up under that cheek no <laughs> no uh here we go <laughs> gk I'm go i might try a secondary build next i mean not a secondary build but an accuracy build and see what that does to for my guns main guns because like i said the main guns very shotgun like but when you can land the shells because sometimes you do get some good salvos yeah cause a lot of damage they are 420 and there it is guys the fifth assist of the game we got the the new helping hand uh metal right a uh, helping hand <laughs> we are the assist master out here throwing some dimes setting our teammates up for success so let's see can we get a kill no but we did get our sixth assist <laughs> of the game right six assist of the game and that is a a ribbon you battleship mains are going to be seeing a lot of right that is the battleship medal right there assist <laughs> but hey we finished the game with 244 thousand damage we did get those six assists of the game we got two kills we set nine fires we hit six citadels and we have we got 10 defended ribbons Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> and yes, we are top of the leaderboard in base XP. We finished with 32.96, right? 32.96, very, very good performance by the GK. And this is what, my second or third game in it. So yeah, it didn't take me long. It didn't take me long to, you know, cross over the 200K mark in this ship. Pretty, pretty tanky. Just maybe a little bit too tanky. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too tanky, but you know, I've been playing a lot of these secondary battleships of late and that's because the game has kind of gotten a little stale or a little dry for me just a little bit. So when, when that happens, I, you know, I tend to jump in some secondary battleships because they're fun to play, you know, tanking y'all, tanking in there, watching your secondaries go to work, you know, trying to outsmart the enemy, of course, and it, it's it brings back some joy, right? <laughs> and I can't wait to unlock the Navarin in this update. Navarin, Soviet secondary ship. Boy, I can't wait. You know, I like a good secondary focused battleship, right? A good secondary focused battleship. But hey, the GK, okay, the Vibranium Alloy GK. <laughs> Go look it up. What is Vibranium Alloy? <laughs> but hey, tell me what you think. And of course, thanks for watching. Cruiser sunk.